Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to wire up your Super Cub. And ours is a little bit modified with a brushless motor that has three wires instead of just a black and red two wire setup. And we have a speed controller, we have a receiver with an antenna on it, servos that go to the flaps and the rudder, and a transmitter, a DX4E. So this is the stock transmitter with the Super Cub package. And we have a 2200 kilovolt uh, brushless motor that we bought separately and a badly attached propeller because I lost the propeller mount to the shaft. But wire seems to work. And we have our uh, battery which is a 1300 milliamp uh, park zone. This is the stock battery. Um, you might want to get a better battery, uh, slightly more milliamps, but um, this is what we're using. So basic wiring is you have the receiver here. With a brushless motor, you actually plug the battery directly into the wire that goes into the speed controller. This basically turns it into the proper kind of current and reduces the voltage to, I believe, 5 volts to the, uh, the brushless motor and um, changes it from DC to AC electricity for the brushless, which is kind of a unique thing. There is a second wire attachment. The stock setup, you would just plug the battery here right into the receiver. Um, but with a brushless motor, you need to go through the speed controller and the wire goes back to the receiver to send power to the receiver and then the receiver is attached to the servos. So it's a, this is a bit more of a complicated setup with a brushless upgrade. With the brush motor, it's a bit more simple. There's a black and white wire with a brush motor, but we have three wires. The order doesn't matter, but it determines the direction of the shaft. If your plane goes backwards, you know you've got to switch some wires. You're not going to break anything or blow anything up by having the wrong order of these three wires. And I soldered these in this case, but often bullet, bullet connectors are best. So once I add this power, you'll hear three beeps. Well, it's more than three beeps, a bunch of beeps. And that means that the brushless motor knows what's going on. And when you've got the transmitter, always keep the throttle off and wear safety glasses, especially when you've done sketchy propeller attachments. Turn it on and you should be able to see this red light goes solid once you've got a connection to the, the receiver from the transmitter. First thing to do is to test the flaps and the rudder. All systems go back there and then the propeller. I'm going to have to hold on to this thing so it doesn't fly away. But So this is a brushless motor. So that works. Everything's good. That's a very powerful motor. So never leave your battery plugged in when you're storing it. Always, after you fly, undo it. The other thing, if you are brand new to this and you need to bind your motor, you'll need this little binding plug. And what you do there, it's quite simple, is you go to your receiver and make sure the little metal tabs are facing away. These metal tabs all have like little metal tabs on one side and all plastic on the other. So make sure they're all consistent. Go to the bat bind slot and plug that in. Okay, and then this is the first time you've hooked up the motor you have to bind the motor and the, the receiver uh, to the transmitter. Sounds complicated, but it just means you're just basically initializing the system. Again, plug it in. The motor now knows that it's got power, and this is a fast flashing light. This is the only tricky part. With this version, hold down the panic button, hold down the throttle to the bottom left, turn it on and wait about five seconds or at least until 
the flashing light goes solid, or sorry, the fast flashing goes to slow flashing um, on the uh, receiver there. Once that happens, you can let go of the panic button and you can see that everything's connecting. You, should, you can even test, test the flaps. You could test the propeller too. Um, in this case, ours is a, it's a little fussy. Sometimes, if you're very carefully, if your brushless motor doesn't start, you can give it a little finger start like that. Um, but that's very dangerous. Don't do that at home. Um, unless you're with an adult, which I think I am. Anyway, um, so when you're binding, to finish the binding process, first thing you do is just unplug the battery. Very stiff. Turn off your transmitter. Take out the binding plug. And now you're ready to go. You can now plug it back in. Don't plug it into the old receiver. Plug it into the, the brushless motor connection to the, what's that called? Electronic speed controller, ESC. That's back in. That's a good sign. It knows the motor there. We're ready to throttle down, make sure it's throttled down so we don't take off. You need about five seconds for the receiver to remember who the transmitter is. But once, uh, once you get a light there, um, it, should be, uh, it should be good to go. And make sure the power is there. We're not getting the light yet. Still no signal. But normally, there we go, it takes a while. Sometimes you have to have the transmitter about five to 10 feet away or just move the transmitter around if you don't get the, the solid light. Now you've got connection to the back, connection to the front. See how I almost started with my hand but didn't? That was very dangerous. But if you, you'll know if it's not moving, but if it's jittering, sometimes it just needs a little help. Just one of these. And that's all there is to it. Remember, you always want to yeah, turn off the receiver, unplug the battery after you're flying. Make sure the battery is unplugged and put it in a non-combustible porcelain bowl or something that's not going to catch fire. Happy flying!